Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent, and this is Unité 3, Leçon 1. And in this lesson, we'll discover together, well, the plural form, how to construct or how to make a, a plural form. So it's le pluriel en français. So let's start now. So we'll take this example, okay, basic example, a friend, un ami, un ami, okay, un Ami. Okay, so here you can see that we've got this uh, article indéfini, hein, right, the masculine form, singular form, and then we've got ami, friend, like that, uh, at the singular form as well. So if we want to construct the plural form, well, obviously the article will change. Okay, uh, we saw previously that uh, the plural article was de, in that case, and then we keep the same word, so ami, and the rule goes like that. You get to add at the end of the word s, okay? In that case, and as in most of the cases, you won't pronounce it, but you will have to put it, okay? And so you've got de ami, okay? And if you make the, the liaison, so the link between the two, you will get des amis. Okay, des amis. So ami, remember, doesn't change. Even if you get to write the S, then you don't pronounce it. Okay. And now, let's see a few examples. So this one, une femme, une femme. Okay, so if we think about the rule that we saw previously, then une is changing and then the article become de. Okay. Femme, you write it like it was at the singular form, and then you just add this S at the end, and as we said, you don't pronounce it, so you get des femmes, okay? Des femmes. So, une femme, singular, and then des femmes, right? And then, un homme, if we make this little link between the two, un homme, un homme, un homme, and then we'll put this word at the plural form. So same thing here. So this uh, article indéfini un is becoming des in that case, and then you rewrite the word homme, and after that you just put the s at the end. You don't pronounce it, so you get des hommes, des hommes, des hommes. Okay, un homme singular form, des hommes plural form. Okay, and then I took, uh, well, this example with this article défini, le, okay, so the, the, le livre, le livre, okay, if you want to put the plural form, then the article here becomes les, so that's the plural form, okay, les, and then same rule, you just write livre, and then you put S at the end, but then you don't pronounce it, les livres. Le livre, les livres. So it's quite interesting uh, in this example here, because if you listen carefully, le livre, les livres. So the only way to know whether it's singular or plural is to pronounce correctly the article, in that case, le, and here, les. So it's really this le, e, uh, and then les, e. Eh. That will make the difference between the singular form and the plural form. Okay? As usual in French, we've got exceptions. So you get words uh, that will end with this e, a, u combination of vowels, like for instance, une, o. So remember when you get these, these vowels like that, then you get only the sound o. Okay, une O. So in that case, well, you won't add the S as uh, like we saw previously, but then it will be the rule is that you get to put X here at the end, but then same rule, you don't pronounce it. Des O. Okay, une O, des O. All right, second group, words ending with A. U. Here is an example, un tuyau, 
okay same rule here you won't add s at the end but instead of s you will put x okay de tuyo same rule you don't pronounce it de tuyo okay un tuyo de tuyo so the only difference will be with the article because the word will be pronounced the same way and then the last group is uh, the words ending with e, u, e. So let's take one example. Un feu, un feu. And basically the same same rule. You don't put s, but you will put x instead, and then you don't pronounce it. Des feux. Un feu. Des feux. Okay. There is another group of words so because normally uh, the words ending with the uh, ou like that here ou and then uh, the sound is u okay normally these words just behave like the others so uh, you just need to put s at the end but of course as usual in french we've got few exceptions so i've been listing all the exceptions of the ou ending you know words that will well like we saw previously not take uh, s but then take x at the end okay but still as usual it's not pronounced so it doesn't really affect the pronunciation but it's just for you if you want to write them correctly at the plural form remember it's not s but it's x okay so the first one un bijou okay so i did put the translation here Pluriel, des bijoux. Okay? Then, un caillou, un caillou, plural, des cailloux. Okay, remember, you don't pronounce it. The, the, the final X. Then, un chou. Okay, remember, when you combine this C and H, you get the sound ch, ch, ch. Chou, un chou, pluriel, des Chou, ok. Un genou, un genou, des genoux. Un hibou, un hibou, des hiboux, des hiboux. Un joujou, un Joujou, des joujou, des joujou. Un pou, un pou, des pou, des pou. Okay, so the good thing, if you remember carefully what uh, I've been introducing so far, is that the main main group of uh, words are actually you, you only need to add s at the end and then you well basically you don't pronounce the, 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 the s or then the exceptions you will like these ones here you will have to add this x at the end but still you won't pronounce uh, the, the, the x okay um, but still as usual we've got exceptions so a uh, few exceptions not that much but then uh, these exceptions are really really strange because it does mean that the pronunciation will change okay so we'll take this one un boeuf un boeuf and then at the plural well you just write it like we saw previously so you just add this s but then pronunciation changes quite much because you get des bœufs des bœufs all right un bœuf des bœufs all right then un œuf un œuf des œufs okay and we'll make the, the liaison here to make it sounds more beautiful des œufs des œufs all right un œuf des œufs and then the last one, this is probably the, 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 the most strange one. Un 
œil, un œil, un œil, des yeux, des yeux, des yeux, 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 ok? Don't pronounce the final X as usual. Yeux, yeux, des yeux, all right? And that's it for this lesson. So it was uh, the first lesson of uh, Unité 3, Unit 3. Uh, if you want to discover uh, the other lessons, well, it's here on YouTube, okay? And then the website is here if you want more material. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.